Welcome to our Tuesday devotion. On Sunday, we made a very emotional, well, I had a very emotional farewell message for my mentor, Peter Crandwell. And I mentioned the original Peter Crandwell artwork we have in our home, and it's here over my shoulder. Uh, Peter did it for us earlier this year. Um, we asked him to include some churches, and of course, Susanna and I have a love for cats. And so Peter has included four gingers and one little black cat, which you see right almost in the center of the picture, sitting in the doorway of the church. This artwork we treasure because it was made with hands who have known years of practice. Peter's multi-talented, as you know. You would have seen his devotion yesterday with those amazing mosaic strelitzias. When we come to this time of year, and literally we're two weeks away from 2024, I myself have just sort of ended the, the working year. And we have this sort of sense that we need to close things off and then start preparing for what 2024 is going to bring for each one of us. One of the readings this week um, is out of the letter to the Romans, uh, which some have called the fifth gospel because it is so filled with uh, inspiring and uh, helpful tips and lessons in how to, to follow Jesus. Paul wrote it, we believe, in around 55 AD, while he spent some time in Corinth. And in those days, the way to get a a message out there was either to stand up and deliver it, and then have everyone in the audience go and tell someone, or to send it through the form of a letter. And this this letter, uh, we believe, took some time to write. Uh, It was very consciously put together uh, because Paul had sort of reached the turning point. He'd, uh, he was on his third missionary journey, and now he had set his sights on visiting Rome, uh, the center of the world at that stage. And he wanted to prepare the church there for his coming, um, and he planned to go from there on to Spain to deliver the good news to the Spanish The letter was entrusted to a woman called Phoebe who was going to deliver it to the Roman church. And whenever Christians gathered, she would be there to read it or to explain it, uh, having heard firsthand from Paul what he intended the letter to say. This week's uh, reading is literally the last two verses of the entire book, and it's just Paul's greeting to fellow believers, uh, reminding us that we have been filled with the Holy Spirit. And so that what we say and what we do must reflect the love of Christ. At this time of year, two people are preparing to travel, to visit friends and family, uh, to spend the holy season, this beautiful celebration of Christ's birth next week and we think of a number of our friends traveling overseas. We think too of people in our congregation planning and preparing to head down the coast to the Eastern Cape, um, perhaps even northwards uh, into Gauteng. And we lift each one of you and your families at this time. We ask that uh, you, we pray for travel mercies, but we ask that you have a blessed time putting Jesus at the center of these celebrations. So we look forward to seeing you at our last three services for the year. And we ask that you continue to keep Jesus in your heart and those less fortunate in your prayers. And we ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen.